We totally relocated camp. We got a beat on these rams that we saw yesterday. They're big, one of them's good. I'm gonna show you a clip of them right now. And they're about 2,500 yards away from us, but they're up high on this cliff that I don't think we can get to. Um, show you, they're like up in there. And uh, there's just no way to get to them but we did see them drop down yesterday. We're just gonna basically wait on them to drop down and when they do that, we are gonna go for it. We know for sure one ram is good, He's big, both of them are big. Um, one of them's a little bit bigger, so. Right now we're just uh, trying to escape the rain and um, I'm making a little MSR reactor coffee for my for one of my meals of the day today. Um, so yeah, we're just we're excited. This is where you want to be when you're sheep hunting. You know, we've got the rams located. They haven't really moved in a couple of days, other than dropping down to get water and, and and feed. So hopefully our plan is going to play out and it'll work out. When they drop down, we go for it. So we've got a great place to watch them. You know, all day long. And uh, so hopefully it works out. Probably here we are getting hammered with rain right now. We just got set up to our new camping area uh, to watch these rams and uh, just started coming down on us. And that's part of sheep hunting. You're never without your rain gear. And if you're in a spot, you get to camp, get your camp set up quickly because you never know when it's gonna just come down. So we, we rushed and got our camp set up immediately and uh basically just as we were done started coming down so everything definitely got wet so yeah it's just a part of part of sheep hunting rain is is a part of it and weather is a part of hunting in alaska and you just you have to know how to deal with it you have to know how to just overcome it's not the end of the world if you get wet that's why i always have everything in dry bags and i have extra dry bags for my clients and just to make sure that nothing the essentials don't get wet. A lot of my uh, smaller things I have organized in these mini, mini dry bags. I don't know, they call them ditty bags. There's a bunch of little names for them, but with this, and then, uh, I mean, a, a few different brands make these. I really like these granite gear ones. And I've got, they come in different colors. And that's kind of how I know what's in them. I got like my charging stuff. I got like my, my big charger. My electronics, I have like cleaning, lens cleaning stuff in one, it's smaller. And I've got a, uh, I've got a bivy, a bivouac in this guy. Cheap hunting is not a hunt where you can bring the kitchen sink, you know, it's not a hunt where you bring your iPad and your extra pair of boots and three pairs of underwear and, three, you know, it's really not one of those type of hunts. You gotta have everything down razor sharp and not bringing in anything extra what i like extra is socks and having a good sock regimen especially when you're doing a lot of hiking keeping dry socks that's important extra pair of underwear that's up to you extra pants absolutely not if you have rain pants that can be your extra pair of pants and i actually have double so i have these like puffy pants are awesome so I definitely don't need an extra pair of pants and I don't recommend anyone extra pair of pants. I do bring some long underwear, but I could probably leave those, leave those at home. An extra hoodie is important. They're really light. And like I said, when you get, when you drench them, either sweating or raining or whatever, um, it's super nice just to throw a dry one on and get cozy and get warm. That's really important. If your pants get soaked, you can always take those off, put your put your dry long underwear on or put your dry puffy pants on or your even your rain gear on. That's not that big of a deal. But so one extra shirt and I love these hoodies um, because they keep the bugs out this time of year. It's, when it gets a little colder in September, you don't really have that issue, but these bugs have been crazy. So we wrap it up and just put some bug dope just on my face. And, so that's really handy to keep the bugs off. Uh, that's pretty much 
how how I like to roll. Um, I roll a little bit heavier than some guys because I got I got cameras. Um, nothing fancy, but I have charger. I've got a. Uh, I use a different phone to for my phone scope. I've got a GoPro. Um, I've got a backup iPhone 10 um, just for storage, and then uh, I've got this real lightweight tripod. I I I like this tripod. It's uh, the Manfrotto B3. I like it because it's got the fluid head. It's 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 just at the right level to accommodate the BTX. The BTX is kind of a beast, and you really got to crank down to uh, to lock it down tight. But it can do it. It's really light, um, better than than a lot of lightweight tripods. So I'm very happy with that. Some other uh, important pieces of gear as my inReach hits me in the face. InReaches are awesome. Um, they connect to your phone and you can text out locations, text family members, text um, anything for safety. It's really, really good for safety. And it uses satellites, so wherever you're at, you can usually connect. It's really good in lieu of a uh, sat phone. I've got this uh, Sitka tarp which is pretty sweet i've used it as a shelter when it's warm and um pretty clear nights it's awesome for that and for keeping stuff dry less is more you know it, the essentials are so important because it adds up and it's not really necessarily the weight but it's the bulk you start adding a lot of bulk it's like man you can't you don't have a whole lot of room in your pack my boots are are um i don't know these are legit i love these boots but I'm wearing the toe out. I wear the toe out on all my my boots because I, I kind of kick into the mountain. So that's kind of, I'm going to have to doctor those up in a little bit. But I like those Lost Sportivas. They're pretty sweet. They fit my feet really well. I like to have two water bottles. Uh, this is a big one. It's kind of like if you're, if you, if we got a jet up a mountain, and we gotta leave camp and I just roll with my Vivi and like a tarp. It's You can have one of these for cooking or extra water and then do your normal one for drinking. So it's kind of, a, it's a really good backup water uh, supply. I've also packed a, a water bag that's, I got six liters in it right now. So yeah, that's pretty much my gear overall, what I, what I got going. Everything else is kind of, you know, just various dry bags. All right. Well, that's my gear. One piece of equipment, too, that's honestly indispensable when you're sheep hunting is these guys. You've got to have Crocs. They weigh nothing. They give your feet, like, the ultimate vacation. You need to have your boots off when you're putting on miles. Your feet heat up. You get start getting hot spots, whatever it is. Pop your croc, pop your boots off, get into crocs to keep your feet dry and rested and elevated, hopefully, if you get a place to sit down. So crocs don't elevate your feet, but you get the idea. They're really, really awesome. So Alright, well, that's it. Alright, so we got a lot of rain last night. When we woke up, the rams had kind of made their way down a little bit, kind of where that snow patch is. And now they're really dropping down. So what we did, we broke camp. Um, we've already got camp broken down. We're gonna roll. So um, we're just gonna roll down. We're gonna set up camp at the bottom. We're gonna go try to put a stock on these, on these rams right now because they're gonna be in a shootable position uh, very soon. And it'll take us probably an hour hour and a half to get over there so it's go time um this is what we've been waiting for so we've been kind of hunting these these two rams for four or five days just waiting for the right opportunity and it's here so we're gonna go we're gonna go for it um yeah so we're just gonna drop off this edge quick set up some tents so we can drop most of our gear and keep it dry all right keep you posted
You hit him. Just wait. Just wait. You hit him. He's good. He's good. He's good. Just no. You're good. You're good. Just wait. No, you're fine. You're fine. Just wait. You hit him good. You hit him good. Get him good. He's going. He's good. He's good. Good. I'm not touching the Okay. You see that blood? You see that blood spot? He's going to go down. Oh, that's a long haul. That is a long haul. I am fucking shaking. We worked our butts off. We came from way back over there. Oh, sheep hunting is a is a serious deal, man. It comes down to the wire, and he's down. He's good. He's expiring. We're gonna let his buddies just kind of wander off. <sighs> Made a. I mean, this has been a a four day stock basically in sheep country. Just camp to camp to camp getting closer and getting closer and um it all came together it worked out uh we had about a 290 yard shot and he put it right in the money zone right in the lungs and uh we're both we just we can't be happy right now it's just fantastic so we're gonna go get our packs come back and uh then the work begins so <clears throat> <laughs> oh god, you're shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank this you. This is good, good stuff. Thank you. This is good stuff. I am shaking like a bowl of jelly. Yeah. I am shaking. Look at that. Oh man. If I had to shoot right now, I couldn't shoot. Uh, oh my god, I'm shaking. Yeah. This is good. I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit, but we're in sheep country, man. This is fantastic. Thank you, Tim. Worked hard for this. Uh. All right, we got to the Ram, taking some pics. He's awesome. Um, exactly what we thought, probably better than what we thought. And uh, Brendan hit him awesome with his first shot. It was uh, kind of a lower third shot. Got his lungs, as you can kind of see in the video. And... Uh, yeah, it was, it was beautiful, about 290 yard shot. And, uh, as you can see, he's, uh, he's the real deal. So we're super happy. We've got a long way to go in the next couple of days to get out of here. This stuff is not friendly right here. This is it, but at least we don't have to put on our crampons or, uh, climbing ropes. So, but yeah, so this is doll sheep hunting. This is camped in five different spots just rolled and rolled and rolled and finally got close enough to to make a play on this dude and uh we waited for him um he was he was up on this these cliffs up here and he was up there all day and never came down and we were just our plan was to wait and when he came down we were gonna just get everything get our whole camp and just roll and try to make it happen just throw the dice and and uh just go for it and we did it and brendan made an awesome shot and uh he's gonna talk a little bit right now so we uh saw him first thing this morning and made a game plan broke camp and uh hauled that after him got within 700 yards and got back down snuck around the rocks on the side of him and uh popped up and they were about 300 yards got a little bit closer to the 280 yard shot Tim put me in the perfect position perfect shot and uh, 
we ended up getting them and uh, beyond grateful, beyond happy and uh, excited to show uh, everybody back home and back at camp. So, no, this is awesome. This is why you do it. So, thank you so much, Tim and uh, Bushwhacker. I uh, am beyond happy. Cool. Thank awesome. you. Heck yeah. Man, this country, I just, I can't get over just being up in this country. I love it. I'm like a obsessed with pictures. And these thinking pics are just, check them out. I mean, they're just, they're... What well, the thing oh. is, is pictures say a thousand words. Yeah. They're just, I mean, the, the picture is just unbelievable. Well, I want to get a picture with with you and I and definitely yeah. transfer that or... Oh, yeah. Was it what you expected hunting sheep up in this nasty country or what? Yeah, it was definitely, it wasn't easy. <laughs> There's nothing easy about it, but it, the reward is right here. Yeah. This is worth Beautiful it. Beautiful round. This is cool.